EA Sports coverage of the National Football League brings us to historic Baltimore, Maryland and m and Bank Stadium. But tonight we've got a good AFC matchup on tap as it'll be the Kansas City Chiefs taking on the Baltimore Ravens. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. Right to the air is Mahomes. And this goes to the former Raven, Marquise Brown. And he'll be corralled right around the 34. 14 yards there on the first play from scrimmage. That's a good start to the ball game. Maybe a little bit of a tone setter offensively. They come out throwing right away, and it's an early completion and a quick first down. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. Who finds his receiver, Watson? And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. Give him 15 yards on that one. Kansas City has a first down. He's locked in early. Two nice first down completions to start. I like the fact that he's seeing the whole field early. Spreading it around a little bit in the early going. And just one yard here from the 49 to the 50. That felt like a trap because it looked to me like the opposing front was on that play from the get-go. They had everyone crashing the ball carrier before he even made the line, and they hold him to just a yard. Ball right on the 50-yard line. Here's second and nine. From midfield, here's Mahomes. This will be caught by Brown. So eight yards on the completion there, and that will bring up third and one. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. On third down, it's Pacheco. And he will have a first down here at about the 40. We ought to come up with a T-shirt and sell it that says, no indecision on third and one. And we didn't see it on that run, did we? Got his shoulder square, just got right into the line of scrimmage and picked it up. Absolutely. Picked his lane, went with it, and converted. Mahomes now on first down. They'll set up the screen to Pacheco. And he's taken down inside the 30. The Chiefs have got the passing game rolling a bit and another first down. And as you're game planning as a staff, you go through all the different ways you can neutralize the other guys' pass rushers. Extra linemen, leave a tight end in, bring the running backs back in to block. Or you can do this, a little simple screen pass, and it works to perfection. On first down, Mahomes over the middle complete. It's Brown. Yeah, that's good for a gain of six, and that's going to bring up second down. Well, that's not just his first, not his second, already his third completion here on the opening drive. And I, I think it's safe to say that getting him the ball in this game, one of their top priorities. And the top priority for the defense has got to be finding ways to cover him. And I don't think you can have one basic coverage to get it done. You have to throw a number of coverages at him, make him think as he's running downfield, and hope you can create a little bit of havoc. That good for six as they keep this drive right on rolling. And the pocket's been protected pretty good here so far on the opening drive. We always talk about confidence in runners and catchers and quarterbacks. How about the protection detail? They're not allowing anyone near the guy throwing the football. Operating from the red zone now, Mahomes. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. Excellent defensive effort to get to him and provide a little contact before the catch could be made cleanly. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Throwing now is Mahomes. And Brown's got it for a Chiefs touchdown. A 16-yard touchdown. And the Chiefs are on the board first on the road here in Baltimore. That was a really good opening drive on a number of fronts. Ten plays, very methodical, set the tone. So you know right now, if you're on the defensive side of the ball, you're on the sideline saying, okay, what do we have to dial up in order to get off the field a lot faster? Because 
Both sides are out there for 10 plays, but one side comes off energized, and the other side comes off with some questions. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. From his end zone, here comes Justice Hill. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. They'll start on the ground. It's Derrick Henry. He's able to force his way through one man, but he can muster only about a yard on the play. Second down. Brandon, to me, what's important right here on this drive is for them to get at least two first downs. They've got to give their defense a chance to settle down, catch their breath a little bit after they give up a touchdown on the opening drive. Now it's Jackson. This ball tipped, and it's going to be incomplete. Fortunate maybe to get that back. It's third down. I can assure you, setting up a screen is much more difficult than it appears. It requires excellent timing from everyone on the offense, and a defense's number one goal is to throw that timing off. On third down, Jackson. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And they work this well upfield across the 45. And they're able to convert on third with a solid gain of 23. I know at the end of games, coaches always tell us that no one play won or lost a game. But this seems pretty important early, doesn't it? Their, their ability to pick up that first down on third down, I thought that was key. Well, you're already in the hole after the touchdown on the other side. How will you respond? We talk about that a lot. And they responded pretty well there. You go three and out, I think you give up a lot of momentum. You get down two scores, could be an entirely different game. So they've got a nice drive going now. They're in good shape. What's interesting to me is they're also in that spot of the field where you would take a shot. Do you change that up just because you're down a touchdown? Second and seven. From midfield now, here's Jackson. Flushed out right. And he's going to lose a yard or two. Taken down behind the line. Chris Jones able to run him down for a loss of a yard. The defense is always talking about not letting Lamar Jackson get comfortable. A good job there on his opening drive of making him uncomfortable. And you're talking about doing it so early in the game because all week long, there's been anxiety on the defensive side of the ball. How do we keep this guy hemmed in? How do we tackle him to get it done that early? That's got to feel great for them. And he will have a Ravens first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. He's a talented runner, and that means he's always looking for bigger and bigger gains when he takes off. Certainly found some bonus yards there beyond the first down marker, and this early drive will continue with that extra jolt from his legs. Henry running right. And he's going to get this inside the 30. That's good for a Raven first down, 15 yards there. Usually we see runs like this as the defense breaks down later in the game, but this guy is setting the tone early, running through all types of tackles and putting the defense back on its heels. They go play action now. Jackson, well, that's complete to the fullback, Ricard. Call it a gain of three on the play. And that'll make it second down. Now, that's often a surprise for the defensive guys when they see the big fella slide out of the backfield and catch the ball. Not something they usually go over in practice very often. From the 24 now, here's second down and seven. Jackson. That's complete. It's Rashad Bateman. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. Here now, third and a yard. 
They'll try and pick it up by running the action to the right. And that one going nowhere from the start as he's met in the backfield and goes backwards. A loss of a yard, and it brings up fourth. Boy, you know, some plays you can just sort of tell they're not going to work from the start, and that was one of them right there. Yeah, I mean, he had every option taken away, and so all that was left for him to do was to try and keep it himself, but even he knew that he had nowhere to go. Tucker's kick is good, and they are on the board, but still trailing. It's 7-3. to three. So both teams come away with points on their opening drives. Now, they still trail. They answered the touchdown with a field goal, but at least able to break that goose egg here early. And that is what's important, right? Because they didn't let that initial touchdown go unanswered. Took the ball themselves, moved it downfield, and put it through the post for three points. Game on. Tucker now following the made field goal set to kick it away. And he'll just sit on this one as their drive will start at the 25. The KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you've scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go-around. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. To throw, it's Mahomes. And Watson has it right side. And they're able to get this one across the 35. An 11-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Chiefs first down. Someone sharp in this game. I mean, a touchdown pass in the first drive, and comes right back, and he's flinging it around really well here. A really nice throw there to pick up the first down. You, you kind of just feel a laser focus and confidence about him, and I think we saw that this week, didn't we, talking to him. And he goes down. The Ravens able to get to him. So they will take the sack instead of the penalty. And it takes another down off the series. But the biggest one of all, do you want to tell the guy who just got the sack that it no longer counts? <laughs> no. No, not at all. The Chiefs with the football as we start the second quarter. As they've got it facing a second and long situation. Mahomes now to throw. Over the middle here to Brown. A good pick up there, 13 yards as they get closer for third down. And that was yardage that they needed there after the sack on first down. They didn't get all of it back, but now they look at third down as a manageable situation, one that they have a much better chance of picking up. They'll come up facing third and five. Mahomes going to throw. He's got his target. That's complete. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens 40. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. Well, a lot of times when you get a manageable third down situation like this, you have to think about your tight end. And he comes through for him, picking up the first down. So in Raven territory now, here's a first and 10 right at the 40. Here's Mahomes to throw. And yeah, that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Forced the ball free, and it's second down. He did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived, and I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. Meanwhile, Mahomes throw here complete to Kelsey. And give him six yards here as he stopped near the 35 at the 34. Let's not quibble about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives him a much better opportunity to convert on third down. This will be the eighth play of the drive here. Third and four. Now here's Mahomes. And a five complete and he will have a Chiefs first down they needed four he doubled that he wound up getting eight 
for many people, that's not your standard play call in that third down situation. But for so many offenses, they just want the ball in the hands of their playmakers in open space. And after he caught it, he did a nice job picking up the first down. On play action, it's Mahomes. Short throw hauled in by Kelsey. So the completion good for six yards at its second down. Nice play call, a little bit of play action right there. If you can get those linebackers to freeze for just a split second, that's usually all the room you need in order to get it to your tight end. From the 21, here's a second down and four. That's caught left side by the tight end, Gray. And a couple of yards as they move it from the 21 to the 19. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. So they need two yards here on third down. Remember, they're already two of two on third down conversions on this drive. Looking to throw is Mahomes. And it is caught. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Eight yards on the pick up there, and it moves the sticks. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. Oh, I like the calmness of how he played the ball here. No panic in his eyes as that throw arrived. Tracked it from the moment it left the quarterback's hand, and that's just where he needed to be to knock it away. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. Now Mahomes. And Brown's got it for a Chiefs touchdown. A great effort there with his second touchdown here in this first half. And they are able to add on to their advantage. So they've had two drives, and he's had the two receiving touchdowns. And how about a game plan where you decide to force feed or feature someone, and it works. First two drives, as you noted, end up in touchdown passes. I think they're going to keep going to him until the defense makes any kind of an adjustment. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Hill is going to take it out of the end zone. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much as he's marked down officially at the 21. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. They begin with Henry. They trail now 14 to three, an 11 point deficit as they start things out with a first and 10. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards, and it's second and two. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here, and if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs. Run some plays, run some clock. Allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. Second down, they go again with Henry. And he's able to get out to the 32, brought down there. And the officials here... Going to pause the game for a second. Looks like there's an injured chief on the field. While they come out and take a look at him, we will step aside for just a moment. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. They'll run it again with Henry. And he'll be taken down right around the 34 after a pickup of only a yard. 
No doubt about it. A really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. Henry up the middle. And running room scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. Officially no gain on the play, and they're left with a third and eight. Well, we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. One first down here, and that's all, folks. Good work by this defense to hold things in check and force a punting situation. Out now is a punter, Jordan Stout. This is brought in at the 21. 43 yards on the punt, seven yard return, and it's Chiefs football, first and 10. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. Now right now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely, just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. Mahomes to throw on second down. Got a man, it's Brown. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Two touchdowns for him already in this first half. This one good for a first down. Talk about a big first half. Already has the two touchdowns, adding to his receiving total there and picking up the first down. He's coming off the line so fast. I think he's intimidating the defensive backs with his explosiveness, and he's chipping away at their confidence. And it's straight, it's Pacheco. And this one not going anywhere. They get him at the 44 for a gain of just a yard. The passing game's been working quite well so far, but the running game's been a little bit of a struggle, and that's a surprise to me. Typically, when you can throw it, you've opened up lanes for your runners. Now second and nine. On the handoff, it's Pacheco. And that's going to be a Chiefs first down as good running gets him to about the 44. Although his reputation as a speedy runner precedes him, it's always fun to watch him work. It is eye-opening, isn't it? Because when you see him get the ball and just go, in addition to that speed, it helps out his blockers. They don't have to hold blocks for long because he's just going to speed right past them. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. Open man here. It's the tight end, Kelsey. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. Another big hitter there. This one good for 18. A lot of tight ends just use their size and their strength, try to occupy some space and kind of body people away and catch the football. But not this guy. He's a refined route runner. Makes me wonder if he took some dance classes in his background with his footwork. Mahomes now on first down. This will be caught by Brown. They get him to the ground right on the cusp of the red zone after a pickup of five or six. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Second down, here's Mahomes. It's Kelsey on the ground. And Kelsey's going to have a Chiefs first down as he gets this down to the 13-yard line. It's a gain of eight, and it'll wind up moving the chains. They've looked his way quite a bit, and in my estimation, as well they should. Well, that's now five catches in this first half alone. And he picks up another first down. He's been an important part of their offense here early. Now it's Mahomes again. He's going to be sacked back at the 23-yard line. It looks like a loss of right around 11 there on first down to set him back on second. 
Well, many times when you talk about mobile quarterbacks, you get the sense that they feel like they can get out of any bad situation. They keep moving around and trying to emulate guys like the scrambler or the dodger. Instead, they keep losing yardage and losing yardage and digging themselves a hole that they can't get out of. The Chiefs now going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. So here's a third and 14. Throwing now is Mahomes. Did he get the feet down? Yes. Touchdown. Marquise Brown on his way to a monster game. Three first half touchdowns. And the Chiefs will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. Well, just a sensational start for this offense, Charles. Three drives, three passing touchdowns. Is that like mentioning a perfect game in baseball? Or are we cool to do it here in football, partner? No, I think you can do it here in football. I think perfect game in baseball, that, that's its own category. Yeah, I think you're right about that. Could not imagine a worse start for that secondary, or let's face it, a better one for this offense. No chance they stop passing now the way that it's going. I think they're going to continue to press the ball downfield and hopefully reap the same results. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And he'll going to sit on this one, and it'll come out to the 25. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. And I don't think they need to be reminded of the situation here. I mean, the clock is dwindling. Three-score deficit waiting for them at halftime unless they can get something on the board here before intermission. Some of the fans here don't seem too happy about what we've seen in this first half. No, not at all. And I understand why they've looked lethargic, out of sync, and it shows on the scoreboard. So the incompletion, and now it's second and 10, again from the 25-yard line. Now it's Jackson. Looking for Bateman. He's got him complete. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts as the clock will stop with just under 30 seconds to go in the first half. Third and four. Here's Jackson. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. The Ravens going to use the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Here's Jackson to throw. And that one too wide and incomplete. Not too many things get to a quarterback of this magnitude, but I think it's safe to say that pressure can get to any quarterback. Now he's obviously a great franchise quarterback, but felt the pressure, threw it incomplete. Now a second and 10. Jackson firing quickly out wide for Bateman. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. That's good for a Raven first down, 15 yards there. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. 
This was the old NFL record distance for decades, a 63-yard attempt. So we reach halftime in what's been a fairly one-sided game so far. As we send you down to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Hill is going to take it out of the end zone. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. In the first half, they struggled a little bit to keep pace offensively, CD, down two scores here. So how do they make some changes coming out of the locker room? Well, they've studied what they did in the first half. They've seen what the defense has thrown at them. Now they want to have a plan of attack against it. So you come out, you're not going to get all the points back on one drive. But get started on it. Start chopping into that lead, and maybe it'll inspire your defense to help out as well. So quickly, all the way up at the 40-yard line. Jackson now off the bootleg. A short throw caught by Andrews. So just three yards on the completion there. And it'll be second down. Got to give credit where it's due. Really nice defense on that play. The pitch and catch was successful, but not any run after it. Here's second and seven. Henry out of the pistol. And he'll be taken down just shy of midfield. That's going to be a six-yard gain. It leaves him with third down and just a yard to go. Kid had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one? Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. They'll try to run for the first with Henry. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. 48 yards on the ground for him now on nine carries. Despite the score, despite the deficit, no quitting this guy. He's running angry, running through arm tackles. He wants to change what that scoreboard is saying. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory at the 41. Tenth carry now for Derrick Henry. And he'll power his way forward for about four yards there on the first down carry. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. From the 37, they work on second and six. A pivot and a give to Henry. Dropped at the 35, so able to display his strength, but not much room to operate. That was a particularly nice play because not only was it his job to force the play inside, he was actually able to fold inside himself and make the tackle ultimately. Very nicely done. Seventh play of the drive now as they come up on a third and three. From the gun, Jackson. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he will have a Ravens first down. They needed four, he doubled that. He wound up getting eight. As an unbiased observer, I think it would have been interesting to see what they would have done if they hadn't gotten the first down there. But since they did, I guess the point is moot. Yeah, they're right there in that middle ground, field goal range, punt, go for it. But as you said, they picked it up. Jackson on first down. And this will be incomplete. Well, they've been back on their heels a little bit here on this drive, but a chance to exhale just a little bit there with incompletion on first down. Now they have to gear up, try and get two more stops, and escape this drive. Second and 10. Jackson. Slings it to Anders, and it's complete. The tight end has it. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. 18 yards that time to push him up first and goal. And I'll tell you what, this offense is playing a little bit of keep away right now. They've come out here in the third quarter, possessed the ball for quite a while, and they keep on converting. Nice pitch and catch there to set up the first and goal. They'll try and run for it with Henry. And he will force his way into the end zone for a Ravens touchdown. Derrick Henry. 
An eight-yard touchdown run. And the Ravens are able to cut into this lead as they score on the opening drive of the second half. Justin Tucker for the extra point. He's got it. They're back within a score. It's 8, 21-13. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And he'll just take a seat, and the drive will begin at the 25-yard line. The KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. And maybe some renewed pressure on this unit following the touchdown a moment ago. It's back to a one-score game. And because of that pressure, because it's now a one-score game, they know this is where you need to slow the momentum change because otherwise that could overrun your team you've got to be careful right here well it's time for them to be good teammates right here and what i mean by that is possess the ball for a little while get at least two first downs give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown to throw it's mahomes it's complete to brown right side seven yards there and a first down his big game continues. Already has the three touchdown grabs, tacking on some more yardage and a first down. And how precise has his route running been in this game? We just saw him get open yet again, and he's also made adjustments as the defense has tried to really stop him. On first and ten, here's Mahomes. He's going to launch this deep for Watson. And incomplete on the deep ball. Uh, that's some good closing speed there defensively because that looked open for a minute. That's great work with the ball in the air. Never gave up. Converged on his man and broke the play up. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Now here's Mahomes. They'll set up the screen to Pacheco. Finding room at midfield. And he's going to get this into enemy territory at the 45. That goes for a Chiefs first down, 14 yards. And when you have success throwing the football, the old cliche becomes true. The playbook opens up wide. And these screen passes, they become even more difficult to stop. So in Raven territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 45-yard line. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. In every game, teams are looking for that momentum shift and that run there. The offense feels like, hey, maybe we can get something going. But defensively, they've slowed them down the entire game. They don't want to turn into more. They're going to try and figure out a way to take it back on this next play. On play action, it's Mahomes. They'll check this one down to Pacheco. And the play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back near the 40 at the 39. It'll be a loss of a yard, and that's going to lead to a third and four coming up. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And he will have a Chiefs first down by about three yards or so as they wind up getting seven there on third and four. Well, they certainly had success throughout this contest getting him the ball in the passing game, and there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it, and no adjustment has been made to take it away. And he's down into the red zone at the 16 after a gain of 16. First and 10. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. 
They run it with Pacheco from the gun. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. In on the stop, the former Georgia Bulldog, Roquan Smith. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive. Because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense getting a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. Pacheco gets it again on second down. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. That play gets them six yards and sets them up with a first and goal. Most of their damage has been done through the air. I mean, they've rung the bell three times with passing touchdowns. But guess what? Ground game has not been neglected. Nice little burst right there. This offense continues to be a hot knife through butter. Three drives, three scores, and knocking on the door again on drive number four. They'll run here with Pacheco. And he is in. Touchdown, Kansas City. Isaiah Pacheco. A five-yard touchdown run. And the Chiefs go up by two touchdowns. Circle that drive because that might be one to remember. Well executed to give them a little cushion. Well, let's take it into the boxing ring. You talk about them commanding it, keeping the fight where they wanted to, whether it was in the center of the ring or putting them on the ropes because it was jab, jab, jab. And finally, the haymaker to put that drive away. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. The return man is Hill. Returning it, Hill. And he returns this to the 22. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. They did what they had to do to start this third quarter, went down, got the touchdown to cut the lead, but the matching touchdown a moment ago, and we're right back where we started at halftime. Yeah, you're exactly right, partner. They had a little bounce in their step after scoring that first touchdown, but the defense gave one up, and that's the problem right now. Can they get better play from their defense while they continue to score on offense? It looked like almost a miscommunication defensively because once he decided to keep it, he had pretty smooth sailing. Yeah, it became a question of, wait a minute, who's got the quarterback? And when you talk about miscommunication, it's supposed to be called assignment football on the defensive side of the ball. But if the assignment gets mixed up, that's the end result. The 71 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. They've been running it well all game, and why not? The big guys up front, they're just having a ball, creating monster holes for their guys to run through. And from the 41, this is second and a yard. Jackson going to keep it running right. And a good push up front, and he's able to navigate his way down inside the 30. A really nice effort that time. 12 yards on the keeper, picking up the first. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Baltimore. It's the Ravens with possession of the football, but trailing on the big board as we get set for the fourth. Call it a gain of six on the play, and it'll be second down. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays harder to move it. Meanwhile, Jackson's throw pulled in by Aguilar. So nothing doing there. And now we've got a third and three. Well, he caught it right at the line of scrimmage, and before he could even think about advancing it forward, he got hit. Great tackling because that's what you're taught. 
don't give up yards after the catch, and most offenses make a living off of yards after catch. Those hidden yards that may not go into the score sheet, but they count big for moving the ball and stretching the field. Really nice open field tackle. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. And in a two-score game, obviously, every play, every third down, like we saw there, magnified big pickup. It was a huge pickup. What they really want, though, is to not even get to third down. They've got to maximize time and conserve as much as possible. And a little bit of space there takes it inside the five to the three. It'll be a pickup of four, and it brings up second and goal. That's good power football on first and goal. A lot of teams will throw from there. But that's a nice job to chew up a few more yards and get yourself closer to the goal line. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. Jackson from the shotgun. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. That was a touchdown if he could have hung on. Instead, it was a well-timed collision to jar that one free. A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play. Third and goal. To throw is Jackson. Forced out to his left. The... And he is into the end zone for a Baltimore touchdown. Lamar Jackson, a three-yard touchdown run. And the Ravens are able to make some inroads here to that deficit. And this defense, so many things to worry about in the red zone area, but you'd have to almost think that Lamar Jackson running the football, that might be number one. It should be number one. And in this portion of the field where things shrink a little bit because the receivers can't run past anyone because they'll run out of real estate, you should have all eyes on Lamar Jackson when the ball is snapped and try and keep him back in the pocket. Yeah, I don't think that they were surprised he was running it there. They just couldn't stop him, and he ends up in the end zone. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. No run back here, down to a knee, and this drive will start at the 25. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. They'll start the drive here with Pacheco. They'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. If you can keep getting gains like that, Charles, with the lead here in the fourth quarter, I mean, keep running it, right? No doubt about it, but what the offense coordinator has to do is understand they're going to continue to stack the line of scrimmage. What runs do you have in your arsenal that'll work against a stacked box and continue to move the ball? Now Mahomes. So left side, it's complete. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. Getting it to him in space pays off big time. That winds up going for 31. Oftentimes now, offenses aren't nearly as precise as days gone by. They just tell receivers, find an open patch of grass and let the quarterback find you. And that's exactly what they did on that play. First with the pass through the air, nice chunk of yardage there, and then additional pickup with his legs after the catch. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. His back has been a dependable safety valve all game, so he went back to him when his first read was covered. Just unable to connect, so the play results in no gain. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Pacheco gets it up the gut. And he's going to be down close to a first down at the Ravens 30. 64 yards rushing for him now to this point. This drive is turning into an extended one, and, and the guy carrying the ball, he's becoming more like a body blows guy. Every carry is putting some damage on the defense. So after a while, I'm not too sure how many guys are going to want to run up and tackle him. Play action. Now it's Mahomes. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Trying to get a big strike right there and hopefully tie this game up with the late going. But the coverage was there, and this winds up incomplete. A 
And here's a big one now. Try to hold this lead. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. Here's Mahomes to throw. And he is caught. And he is going to have the Chiefs first down as the defense couldn't come up with a big play. In fact, they got six more than they needed. A gain of eight on fourth and two. Fourth and two. They got it. That was kind of that gray area. Is that a feel thing, whether you go run or pass there offensively? I think it's a feel thing. It's a tendency thing about what you like to do yourself on offense, as well as knowing how strong they are against the run on defense. Got to make a decision, and they made the correct one. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Offense is moving it a little bit. Had them back on their heels, but they're on a brief pause by forcing the incompletion. That gives them a quick chance to regroup and try and mount a stand before they're backed up even further. Here's second and 10. They fake the give. Now Mahomes. And they will not get the connection there. It's incomplete. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have him looking at third and ten. A give right side for Pacheco. And he's going to be marked down short of the first down, right around the 17. Call it a gain of five. Fourth down now. I think we all suspected that they were going back to him after he found the end zone on his last carry. And they kept the positive momentum going there. Another nice run by him. Butker's kick here is good. And that will extend their lead even further. So that CD, an important one here in the fourth quarter. And that importance cannot be overstated. All eyes on both sidelines were staring that one down all the way. The significance is that they made it a two-score game. Still lots of time left to go, but likely that was their goal at the start of the drive. Get three points, make it a two-score game, and they were able to get it done. After the field goal, here's Butker to kick it away. Hill going to think better of bringing this one out, and the drive will start at the 25. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And the complexion of this one has changed a fair amount. That last field goal made it a two-score game, so they need to get points out of this drive relatively quickly. Chris Jones, his second sack of the night. We've seen him escape similar situations earlier in the game and get away from pretty good yardage. At that time, they get him down. Yeah, they've had enough evidence that he can get away and run for good yardage, haven't they? That time, it felt like, okay, enough of this. Let's play it the right way and get him on the ground before he does any damage. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. Oh, this defense knows. Fourth quarter, they need to make a play. That one was right for the taking. Could have changed the complexion of the ball game, but it winds up incomplete. The offense on third down tonight? Can't fault these numbers. Seven for nine thus far. This is going to be third and 13. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. A big play there as they get the conversion on third and 13. This possession means so much for them. They've got to focus on this drive and find a way to make this a one possession game. Yes. Got to get a score. Yeah, so good with a field goal. Don't necessarily need a touchdown. On first and 10, it's Jackson. Yet again, targeting and fighting Mark Andrews. No gain on the play. And it'll be second down. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. On second down, here's Jackson. And the Chiefs are going to get him. 
Chris Jones bringing the pressure yet again. That's his third sack here tonight. And we all know how talented this guy is who's calling the signals for him. But even the best in the game, they can struggle against a good, cohesive zone coverage. Can't find a gap in the secondary quick enough, and he ends up taking a sack. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. That's going deep for Bateman. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. And they're at the point of the ball game now where they've got to take some chances. They've got to put the ball in the air and just see what happens. But this defense knows that all too well. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Here we go. It's Jackson on fourth down. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he is going to have a Ravens first down. And they come up with a big one there to keep the drive moving and then some. I tell you what, this is not for the faint of heart right here. Fourth down, this is taking a big risk. But it's as good a play call as you can imagine. And the defense just not able to come up with the stop they needed. And this is not just a first down, but a big play as well. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Oh, nice defensive effort there, providing the hit as the ball got to the receiver, separates him from the catch, and normally he's a sure-handed target. Another try, second and ten now. Now it's Jackson. Pass on the crossing route is complete. This is Andrews. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 14. For a tight end, he's got good straight line speed, and on that route, he's often the guy that gets overlooked. Nice job there finding him in stride for really good yardage. All three timeouts plus the two-minute warning. Here's first and ten. Now he's taken down at the seven after a gain of seven. They'll come up now on second down. Jackson to throw. And his throw here is incomplete. And now the focus is really clear. They need to get that first down and either get out of bounds or maybe use one of those timeouts. They'll come to the line. This is third and three. Throwing. Jackson. Touchdown! Zay Flowers. A seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Ravens have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. I'm not sure win-win is the proper term here, but it certainly felt like it. They got the touchdown they needed, but if I'm on the defensive side of the ball, okay, you got the touchdown, but it sure took you a long time. Yeah, because offensively there, you're probably hoping for a one to five play drive. That one ate up a little more time than they were hoping. You're exactly right, and if you have that one to five play drive, you actually build up momentum and even more hope. When they had to slog their way downfield, they got the touchdown, but it's almost like, ah. Yeah, yeah you know. It doesn't kinda, feel right. Exactly. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. The KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. Well, they can smell victory, partner. They can see it on the horizon, but certainly we're not done yet here. Defense still has three timeouts, and obviously this is a very slim lead they're holding on to. And let's face it, the easiest way to get this done, challenge your ground game, challenge your offensive line, your tight ends, your receivers, anyone who's going to lay down a block, 
Don't let there be penetration because they're going to stack the line of scrimmage and maybe bring extra people to the ball. If you can do that, make them burn their timeouts, run out the clock, life will be good. But if you really want to gamble a little bit, a quick play action, quick throw, might be able to get it done. Just make sure it's not incomplete and stop the clock. The Ravens going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. They'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. Mahomes to throw. but not before he takes it inside the 40. What a call there on third down. Took conviction, didn't it? If this is incomplete, the complexion of this game changes dramatically. Instead, not only is this a first down, but it's a big play to boot. Five points of contact necessary at this stage as they'll run on first down. Raven's going to use their third and final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. I like it. I like the call. Still an opportunity to run the football and chew up a little more time off the clock. They'll come to the line needing only two yards to gain the first here. To throw is Mahomes. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he will have a Chiefs first down. And that's the one that should seal the victory. It's a gain of six, and that ought to just about do it. And this defense, they needed that one more stop to have any chance. But that completion, that's likely going to seal their fate. And you can hear it in your voice, that one more <laughs> stop. I feel their pain. Oh, it was so important. They just didn't get it done. Wow. What a way to finish this one off. So no shortage of offense in this game, but a very clean game too, Charles. Each side got its points, but they did so without committing a single turnover. That's so true, and it certainly felt like NFL football at its finest, right? You talk about the highest level for both of these offenses. Neither one of them afraid of taking risks, and both of them aggressively pushing it downfield. I did like, Brandon, how smart they were about going about their business, though. They were high